We've got our RGB scopes here. What the RGB scopes are showing is the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. How strong the signal is for each of those channels. So if we take a shot like this, where we've got some whites, we've got some blue at the swimming pool. And now just looking at this image, we can see that it looks pretty good. It looks balanced, it looks correct. When we're looking at an image, keep in mind that our eyes can trick us. So we could be looking at something and think that looks pretty good. But in reality, there could be a hue shift. There could be a red shift, a blue shift, a green shift. So in order for us to check that, what we can do is we can go down to our dropper here, qualifier. And if I just right click and you see here, show picker RGB value. So now when I hover over any pixel on the, on the image, we'll get a reading for our red, green, and blue channel. And you can see if you look at our RGB parade scope here, we're getting a circle for the red value, the green value, and the blue value. If I look at my dropper on the on the image, we've got red 95, green 136, and blue 133. And that's being represented on the scopes. Now, if we go to a neutral color, let's go to our whites here, and we can see we've got a pretty even value between our red, green, and blue. So we've got 204 for red, 200 four for green and we've got 204 for blue. So we've got, we've actually got exact there. So we've got exact readings on our red, green and blue, which essentially means it's gonna be white or neutral or black, depending on the luminance. So here it's a, it's a brighter luminance value. So it's gonna show as a white. And if I look at the RGB parade, the three circles are all lining up nicely. Basically what it's saying is this image is correctly balanced. It's correctly white balanced. We don't have any color shift in the, in the neutral tones here. If I just go forward now, it's the same scene, but you can see we've got a color shift here. So straight up, if I just look at my, take a glance at the scopes here on the right side, I can see that the red is lifting up much higher than the green and the green's lifting up much higher than the blue. So we're, we're pushed to put towards red and green. And when I look at the image, when I look at the scene, this is reflected by a, a shift to yellow. So red and green makes yellow. The red and green's higher than the blue. We can see a yellow color cast across the, across the scene. And if I just take my dropper here and go to those white areas that we were on before, we can see we've got red 217, green 208, and blue 192. Straight up, we can see we've got a bit of a shift towards red and green. So that's confirmed in our scopes and then confirmed with the picker value here.